there folks, it's Kikoski here, just letting you know that this video contains a scene that may not be suitable for all viewers due to its disturbing nature. Please be advised of this if you intend to watch the video. And now, on with the video in question! Hey there folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes, and we last we left off we have Garrett right where we want him! in the confession booth. We could open this, but I doubt that's going to end well for us. Also, Frank has gone off to do something else and absolutely wasn't crushed by this. I think he might have been crushed by this. But hey, we got a sword! We don't need the book anymore, but the sword we want! Lily was always happy when something was left over, but usually it was only breadcrumbs and bones and things like that. Now it's a sword! Ooh, looks nice. Lily was all but you- Okay, time to use this with the board. No, no, the job, alcohol. Lily had heard that al- That was certainly true. Okay, we can't get anything new there, but what we can do is- oh, Look at this. I'd like to be able to say that Lily had a plan. That she was thinking about locking Garrett into the confession booth by welding a bar in front of the secret door. But Lily was just thinking about ponies. Right, let's try and open it. The door was firmly locked. Okay, it's locked? Well, the only thing we can clearly do is put the sword here. Lily had to confess that she was once again completely lost. It's okay, we have the actual solution here. Now you're trapped. Hey, what's going on? Is that you, Lily? Do you think that's funny? Let me out, now! Lily felt uncomfortable about it. Locking someone into a confession booth was probably not appropriate for a well-behaved girl. On the other hand, she was doing Edna a big favor. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Indeed. So Garrett is out of the picture. Very good. But I'm still in danger. Before I can leave the convent, you have to help me cover my tracks. The doctor can't find out that I was ever here. Could you do that for me? Uh-huh. Great. Let's see. First, you have to get rid of the balloon that I left in the main hall. It even has my portrait on it. The doctor would recognize me immediately. I also played with firecrackers down by the school clock. Let's just say it was part of a weather experiment. And I would have succeeded if I'd had a real DeLorean. You can't imagine how hard it is to get a lawnmower up to 80 miles per hour. And of course, you have to remove the inscription on the swing tree. It hurts me just as much as you. But I could hardly leave the doctor better evidence that I was here than that. Do you think you can handle all that? Uh-huh. Thank you, Lily. You're the best. Excellent. We just finished one thing and now we have tons of other things to do. Would you like to look at a sword? Nice thought. But I'm afraid that also won't help us get rid of Dr. Marcel. That guy just keeps coming back. Like the Terminator. Or Santa Claus. Santa Claus does keep coming back. Oh, it's just Shy now. Lily had always thought Shy was very pretty, much prettier than herself. That's why. Okay, we're just gonna talk to Shy. Um. Oh, hello, Lily. I was just thinking of Riot Girl. Riot Girl is totally cool because Riot Girl wears Shibuya clothes. Don't you think that's totally fascinating? <sighs> Suka also thinks that Riot Girl is totally cool. And Suka likes Shibuya too. Shibuya is totally cool. Don't you think so too? Um, yeah, it certainly makes you think. I think way too much about things like that. My brain is getting all fuzzy. But Riot Girl is cool, right? Yes, totally cool. Now let's go and see if anything has changed. So, there's a clown here. W why is there a clown here? Lily was delighted. She'd never seen a living clown up close before. Only the dead one that appeared at her window at night. Hmm. I think it gets my better judgment I'm going to talk to you. I, I cannot talk to you. Can I show you this? I can do nothing with the clown. Okay, there's, there's just a clown here. Apparently we could talk to them. But we also can't talk to them. So let's go into... Uh... Uh, 
Can I not go into the cafeteria right now? Hmm. Game's not letting me. Well, let's go talk to Kapu. See what's going on. Lily, I really have to ask you something. Do you like me? Uh huh. Thank goodness. I wasn't really sure, because there's something on my mind. It's... It's about my feelings, and I'd like to ask you a really huge favor. Would you do something for me? Uh-huh. Really? Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, calm down, Kapu. So, would you give this letter to Shai? Uh-huh. <sighs> I really have to meet her. So, could you just give her the letter? Man, that's so cool of you. You're really the best, Lily. Excellent, let's look at the letter. <sighs> it's a love letter! Sometimes, just for fun, Lily liked creating the impression that she didn't know how to use a letter. It was so much fun, even when no one was watching. Glad you're enjoying it. Right, let's see what's going on in here. Has anything changed? Nope, everything is exactly the same. Alright, what about over here? Have things changed in the classroom? Apparently, Birgit had set down her work. But she had completed the banner with the puma motif. Too bad that Lily couldn't congratulate her on the good job she'd done anymore. Oh! Uh, let's look at her work! The banner was magnificent. Birgit had done an incredible job. Lily would dream of the banner for many nights to come. Yeah, let, let's grab that, shall we? Nothing else to interact with? Nope! <laughs> let's, uh... Let's, let's go. So! Birgit will be around later, I, I hope. <laughs> uh, no. No. No, she won't. Alright, I have something for you. This'll get... Oh, this'll get you out of the way of the door that I could use to get to the firecrackers. Oh, what fabulous thing do you have there? Is it for me by any chance? Lily hesitated. Certainly not because she begrudged Shy her meeting with Kapu. No, she was worried. Who knew what sort of things could be in the envelope? A snake, a scorpion, the anthrax virus. In the end, she decided to give Shy the letter. After all. Uh huh. Wow, it's from Kapu. A date? Oh, how exciting! I have to put on more glitter! Apparently, the letter didn't contain the anthrax virus. Thank goodness. Okay, so now hopefully they'll go meet each other. And thus you'll be out of the way. Yep, they're out of the way. Lily didn't want to disturb the two. They deserved to enjoy the moment. Soon, They'd start to hate each other, and Shy would start losing her hair from all the grief. Ah, yes. Love. Oh dear, I've seen where they're standing. Lily didn't want to be deserved soon, and Shy. Ah, yes. I've seen where they're standing. This is not gonna end well. Or maybe it'll end great. It's not gonna end well. So, we need to get rid of the firecrackers. And there's the gargoyle. Okay, so what am I going to use to get rid of this? Clearly the banner. This is exactly what I need to do, right? This might be what I need to do. Lily certainly wouldn't be able to get the firecrackers off the statue like that. Once again, her arms were too short and her line too long. I think I know what we need to use. The sword! It's going to be the sword. The sword was almost long enough to reach the firecrackers. But only almost. Lily needed some kind of... Extendable arm. Ooh, okay. Extendable arm. Where am I gonna find an extendable arm from? Lily loved you. She would never. Wait, do I combine this with that? Lily could no longer destroy her things. Hmm, no. I need an extendable. <gasps> Put it on the school clock! The sword may not have reached the firecrackers or the rope, but it fit perfectly into the mesh of the clock hands. So perfectly that it got stuck in there. 
Now what was Lily to do? Wait until the gargoyle dropped down of its own accord? She didn't have that much time. Ooh, okay. So... What do we do now? Bobbles? It wouldn't take much to make the gargoyle completely lose its balance. But Lily didn't even have that on her. Ooh, okay, so I think I'm getting somewhere. But I need to have the right item. I need to have the right item. Nearly there. Almost there. Hmm. I mean, I could just wait. Time will eventually pass. This is not going to end well at all. The clown is there. I can't go to many places. Let's go up the stairway. Okay, nothing there. Go over here. Time passing. Typically, I only need to leave a screen and then come back. So let's see if anything's changed. The clock in the tower sounded duller than usual today. Was it really that late already? Uh-oh. Oh. Well, it happened. The hands of the school clock and the or they really Can I can I get that? I can't get that back, but I can get the firecrackers. Finally, the firecrackers were within reach. If only Kappa had seen how cleverly Lily had managed all this. But he and Shy were now in a better place. Probably in the garden behind the cafeteria. Exactly! That's exactly where they are! Yay! I... Done. Now only two pieces of evidence were left to completely erase Edna's tracks. Yep. Indeed. So, we need to talk to that clown, I think. I th really do think we need to talk to that clown. But I don't know why the game wouldn't let me talk to the clown. Let's go downstairs. Now can we talk to you? You? No. Oh, another one of them. Get lost. I'm not in the mood for jokes today. Uh, wh why not? You're probably wondering what I'm doing here, right? My name is Ernest. Funny Ernest. <laughs> and I applied as a child therapist here. But no, Mother Superior had already found someone else. That Dr. Marcel. A nuthouse shrink. Can you believe it? I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my kids, even if I knew where they were. <sighs> That's what I get for retraining as a psychologist. Laughter is the best therapy. Great idea. I've been waiting for a gig for months. I should have stayed a plumber. To be fair, plumbing is a decent job. Um. I used to be a plumber. Now I plumb people's souls. What's so hard to understand? Nothing really. Let's talk about Marcel. Mm. Just don't ask me about Dr. Marcel. I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my kids. Even if I knew where they were. He's a bitter, evil man. He's known everywhere for hating children. Ever since a little girl shoved him down the stairs. Huh, <laughs> serves him right. That old twit. Well, that answers which ending's canon for this game. Edna shoving him down the stairs. You? Why are you staring at my cigarettes like that? They're not for sensitive children like you. Got it. You really shouldn't be smoking them either, but there we go. <laughs> what? You don't like the mood I'm in? You want me to show you a few tricks now, or what? I feel terrible. Because my therapy concept flopped. Laughter is the best therapy. Great idea. How oh, rotten. Uh, trick? Um... What? No... Oh. You want to see a few tricks, don't you? I knew I shouldn't have said that. Okay. I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a cute balloon animal, and you leave me in peace, okay? Uh-huh. All right. What's it gonna be? Ooh, what are we... I could ask you to make me a wrench. Hmm. But no, make me a hyper...
hypercube. A hypercube? I don't do them anymore. They always make me dislocate my shoulder. Okay, fine, no hypercube. Yay! The human genome? Very funny. It hasn't even been decrypted yet. Okay, fine. What about a pterodactyl? <laughs> okay, a pterodactyl then. Always the same thing. Um... Ah, you think they look different to this? Then show me a photo. Okay, so we can't... What about a wrench then? A uh, giraffe? Whoa! A giraffe then. How original. But it's only one balloon a child. Whoa. Okay, fine, you bursted my balloon. Now can you make me a giraffe? Whoa! A giraffe, then. How original. Um. What's wrong? It's a short-necked giraffe. Hmm... Ooh. A poodle. The classic. But it's only one balloon a child. Whoa! Would be a little bit better if they had the uh, balloon actually being popped, but I can understand why you didn't put that there. A poodle. The classic. Okay, that actually looks like the poodle, but we really want the wrench. A wrench? But it's only one balloon a child. <laughs> He's enjoying popping those balloons way too much. A wrench? Why not? I know all about wrenches. Thank you. <sighs> you gave me exactly what I need. I pressed I for the inventory there reflexively. The wrench somehow reminded Lily of a poodle. Also, we're going to combine these. Lily remembered the rules of the convent school very well. You were only allowed to use firecrackers if there was a good reason for it. Something like that. Which we're never going to be able to do. Also, firecracker... Oh, wait, sorry, the wrench with this? <laughs> Lily liked static electricity. It reminded her of the feelings she got when she thought of her parents. Ooh, we don't know much about her parents. Lily loved the unusual. She would never have dreamed of doing. Okay, so we can't do anything there, but I know what we can do. And it's probably going to... Let's all think about where the clown is right now. Uh, probably not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Uh, just... Yeah, just, just don't think about it while we use this balloon wrench on the chandelier attachment. I don't know how this is going to work, but it's probably going to work. What Lily now did was actually void of all logic, and she could already hear uproar of the online reviewer, but she did it anyway. She's a rebel. Such a rebel. <laughs> the online reviewer sounded a bit hoarse today. Maybe they shouldn't smoke so much. Well, uh, we did it. We got the balloon, probably. Yay, balloon! Oh no, more, more, more pink. Lily thought Edna's self-portrait was very well done. She would have given her right arm to draw like that. Unfortunately, she wasn't strong enough to get through the bone. Good news, we have a balloon. I'm gonna take it. Done. Now, only one piece of evidence was left to completely erase Edna's tracks. Indeed. Look at this balloon. Now, only one... I'm gonna combine them. Wait, I didn't... Okay, I was meant to do that. Lily had tied the firecrackers to the balloon. It made sense in her world. Yes. Lily had no intention of damaging the banner. She respected Birgit's accomplishments and wasn't jealous at all. Never in her life had she contemplated soiling Birgit's masterpiece or cleaning Lumpy's litter box with Birgit's toothbrush at night. She might have done these things. Lily loved the unusual. She would never have drew. Okay, the other item we obviously need to pick up. Oh, we can look at the chandelier. The chandelier lay broken and useless on the floor. Now, Lily would never be able to swing from it again. To be fair, we never swung from it in the first place, but look what else was left behind. The clown had just left his cigarettes here. He must have been in a great hurry. Oh, that he must have been. We're taking them. 
And we do know someone that has a lighter. Let's combine these. Let's... Ooh, was that a bad idea? Lily didn't quite dare touch the cigarettes with her bare hands. She was worried about getting cancer, like Grandpa. Oof. Well, we know somebody who can use those. Or will. He shouldn't, but he will. And so, when we come back, folks, only one piece of evidence remains before there's no evidence of Edna being here at all, and I doubt this is going to work whatsoever, because while we're achieving things, we're also destroying everything. But only again, because we were told to achieve something, and we are doing it. Regardless of the mayhem we cause. Harvey would be proud. If he was- Where is Harvey? It's called Edna and Harvey, Harvey's new eyes, but there's no Harvey. Yet. And so, when we come back, folks, more paint. I've noticed that Lily's bow is pinkish. Hmm. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.